Hi, this is Tim Maurer, 90 Second Finance. We're in the middle of our series on the economic bias of financial advisors. We discussed commission-only, fee-based, and fee-only. Today we're going to be discussing the fee-only financial advisor. And I do have to disclaim, that's what I am, a fee-only financial advisor. It's where only the client pays the advisor. There are not product sales going on, but there are really four different types of this. And I want to talk about them real quickly. Flat fee. If somebody comes to a financial advisor and says, I'm going to pay you $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 to do a comprehensive financial plan for me, that would be a flat fee. The economic bias there is that the advisor may have a tendency to rush through them so that they can get to more flat fee business. Hourly. With hourly, you're on the clock, kind of like talking to an attorney. I think this is a very, very good model, the Garrett Financial Planning Network for those who are interested. But the problem there is they could stretch the work. That would be the economic bias of an hourly financial planner. The retainer based is where they establish a rate for, for your entire year's worth of financial advice going on into the future. And there again, they might not necessarily have an incentive that the assets under management financial advisor does. The AUM model, which is the most prevalent in the fee-only realm, is where they charge you a percentage of the assets assets that they are managing in addition to the comprehensive financial planning that they offer throughout. The disadvantage here is that they may actually have an economic bias to tell you to put all your money in investments with them so they can make more money. Next time we'll be back with the economic bias of a fee-based financial advisor.